Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nube, and I hope I find you well uh, wherever you are. Today we are talking about what is transpiring in the Zimbabwean political sphere. Uh, you will know that there is a lot of drama, especially involving the mainstream opposition, that is the Citizens Coalition for Change. Well, as many of you already know, yesterday was the day on which President Emerson Nangakwa officially opened the 10th Parliament of Zimbabwe, which also signaled uh, his first meeting with newly elected MPs who were elected on the 23rd and 24th of August this year. But as you already know, uh, C MPs stayed away. They boycotted the official opening, or rather, let me say, the State of the Nation address by President Mnangakwa, their main point of contention being that President Mnangakwa is not legitimate as the leader of Zimbabwe. They don't recognize him. They only recognize their own president, who is uh, Nelson Chamisa, advocate Nelson Chamisa. But what we are getting is that some of these MPs stayed away, uh, but they were threatened with uh, expulsion from the party and recalls from parliament so this is what we're getting from some of these mps uh, who were forced to stay away and they did that but uh, under protest let me say they say that they did this under protest because they were not given any choice other than that if they did attend or if they dare attend they were going to be recalled by their party led by advocate nelson chamisa you'll know that also According to Chamisa himself, the party doesn't have any structures, nobody holds any position. So we don't know uh, how this uh, recall was going to happen. But anyway, it did. Uh, the, the threats did come through, as we are told. We haven't yet verified that, but we that's what we've been told. And the mainstream spokesperson, that is national spokesperson, Mr. Promise Mkwanas, also issued a statement saying that they would stay away. And the reason given is that uh, they don't recognize, the party doesn't recognize President Emerson Nangakwa as the legitimate leader of Zimbabwe. And they're basing this on the SATAC election observer mission, which, let me say and state it clearly, did not say that Zimbabwe's elections are null and void. It did point out some aspects uh, of the election which did not meet the threshold of the SATC and international law as well as the Zimbabwean constitution and the electoral act. So they didn't state, uh, they didn't nullify the Zimbabwean election. They don't have the power to nullify the Zimbabwean election. But Triple C is writing uh, on this report, uh, which also advised the party that should it have any grievances, it should follow the legal channels. That means going through the Zimbabwean courts as is uh, outlined by the Zimbabwean law. So they stayed away because they don't recognize Emerson Nangakwa because also they uh, argue that the election in Zimbabwe was null and void. But at the same time, the double standards are, exp uh, are exposed in that they recognize themselves uh, as the MPs. They recognize the councillors that were elected and the mayors that subsequently took over the urban cities or the urban centers, let me say, in Zimbabwe. Well, I'll also add that it was within their legal rights to stay away, although we may not agree with them here and there. They do have, of course, a cause to, to protest because other than uh, the fact that the elections were not nullified, cannot be nullified, uh, they also still have that grievance in which uh, they were not allowed, the opposition wasn't allowed enough space uh, to campaign, enough space uh, on the public media, and also there was a lot of voter intimidation and irregularities by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. So they do have a, a serious uh, cause for, for, for raising these grievances, for protesting Mnangakwa, although legally and also logically they cannot say that they don't recognize him but all but at the same time recognize themselves as mps and their councillors and mayors as products of the same election which they are disputing but anyway uh, this did happen there's nothing we can change about it we look forward to another form of strategy that they're going to employ because just boycotting the president 
and staying away is not enough if you want to change certain things. But anyway, the grievance, I mean, the triple C drama is still uh, ongoing. Just uh, on the 3rd of October, we received uh, what is said to be a, a letter written by one of triple C members uh, to advocate uh, Jacob Mudenda, who is the Speaker of Parliament, and this guy is uh, requesting the notif I mean, the nullification, or rather, the recall of some triple C members of Parliament, claiming that these have ceased to be members of the opposition party on whose ticket they were elected. I'll read it through and then leave it to you to try uh, and uh, put it. Uh, into some form of logic or to try and understand it. So the notification was written on the 3rd of October 2023. It's uh, referenced notification and declaration of members of the National Assembly elected under Citizens Coalition for Change and have ceased to be members of Citizens Coalition for Change. Um, it has a date stamp, uh, which is not very clear, but it's a rare date stamp. Kindly be advised that the following members of the National Assembly were elected under Citizens Coalition for Change Political Party and have ceased to be members of Citizens Coalition for Change Political Party. Uh, and then he states, Bulawa Metropolitan Province, there is Pasho Rafael Sibanda, the MP for Country Park, Eric Kono, the MP for Lepengula Makwekwe, Nicola Jane Watson, the MP for Bulawayo South, Desmond Makaza, the MP for Mpopo Mamziligazi, Opet Manduna, the MP for Nketa, Mlilo Sitavile, a PR representative, Jasmine Tofa, a PR representative, Janeth Dube, a PR representative, and Evidence Sana of the youth quarter, of the youth quarter that is Bulawayo. In Matebeleland South, they have Moken Nube of Bridge West, Nomatemba Sibanda, proportional representation. Velisi Wenkomo, proportional representation. In Matibelele North, they have Prince Tubego Sibanda, Binga North, Bright Moyo Vanya, Lupane East, and in Harare, lastly, they have Fipion Minyarazi, Kufa Gutiwi of Mavuku Tafara. Can we proceed in terms of the relevant provisions of the Constitution of Zimbabwe relating to members who have ceased to be members of a political party which they were elected under yours faithfully, Sengezo Chabangu, Interim Secretary General? Well, as I have said, this is all drama and political grandstanding because, as I have said above, uh, Triple C is told the public and even within its ranks that nobody holds any position except uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa, uh, the national spokesperson that is Mr. Promise Mkwanazi, the deputy national spokesperson who is uh, Mr. Gift Ostalos Siziba. The rest we have been told to not hold any positions and there are no positions at any level of the party except those. So, which means that this letter by Mr. Sengezo Chavam should be dismissed with the contempt it deserves, but it plays into ZANU-PF's uh, attempt to get a parliamentary two-thirds majority and Triple C must be very careful of how these uh, issues are handled because without uh, any form uh, of uh, positioning within the party, anybody can just come up with any type of drama and ZANU-PF might even uh, buy into this and cause further disturbances within the opposition party. We know that they want uh, to scratch that two-thirds majority so that they can change the constitution willy-nilly. So Triple C must tighten uh, its ranks. It must establish structures that will be very substantive so that anybody else who comes up with these kinds of dramas will not succeed. You will also remember this Senge Zochabangukai as someone who has been suspected or accused of having engineered the double, the double candidates uh, in Triple C, especially uh, in Bulawayo where he claimed to be the interim secretary general and then went ahead to advance some names that were outside the party protocol or outside the party uh, choices for members of parliament and councillors. And at the end of the day, there were double candidates in some constituencies. So this is the same guy.
uh, who has been accused of those things and now he comes up with a new form of drama which he then says all the way to the speaker of parliament we don't know who is behind him we don't know what is behind him but he's obviously taking advantage of the confusion that is within the triple c especially when it comes to issue of structures because anybody can just come up and say i am the substantive and there is no way that a political party of that mat- of, of that magnitude can be expected to be running without structures but just one person micromanaging issues from harare as the president of the party he himself having not been elected at any uh, congress or by any uh, any structure because they don't have any structure so this is what the opposition party should cut against especially when the political tem- temperatures continue to rise like this uh, but what we are also told is that senge sochabang is a former member of the mtct uh, and also a former member of tendai bt's uh, PDP. So we don't know what is up to here, but this is what we had today for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.